Hey everybody, welcome to my video on the origin of the marginal net benefits curve. I use this in my environmental econ class, but you might get it in some other classes. Uh, it looks something like this. Marginal net benefits are downward sloping in Q. Now, where does it come from? Well, that's what this video is about. But I'm going to remind us a little bit of our supply and demand. Here's a demand curve. I'm going to call it marginal benefits. Here's a supply curve. I'm going to call it marginal cost. And something we've been interested in the past is the area between these curves. The area between these curves is total surplus. I know we could divide it in half and call consumer surplus and producer surplus. That's not our goal here. Uh, we're just looking at an overall measure for the market itself. Now total surplus we can relabel as net benefits. And net benefits is reminding us that we're talking about the benefits from the marginal benefits curve that exceed the costs. Every time benefits outweigh costs, that gives us a net benefit. The net benefits overall is the total amount of all benefits that have outweighed costs. Now the marginal net benefits curve, this thing along here, is measuring how much net benefits we get per transaction. So basically it's measuring for any given quantity the distance between our marginal benefits curve and our marginal cost curve. So for a better view, let's come down here to these graphs. I've got a supply and demand graph and I've got this empty graph that I'm going to use to put my marginal net benefits on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reallocate these pieces of total surplus and I'm going to put them on this other graph but all starting at zero instead of starting at the supply curve. Now what can I do with this? Well I could trace right through the top of all these and I will get my marginal net benefits curve. What is it? It is the gap between marginal cost and marginal benefits at any given point and it will tell me the exact height difference between them. So a couple of things to point out. This graph, there's eighty dollars in between the price, the choke prices. Well the marginal net benefits starts at eighty dollars. This graph has an equilibrium of two hundred. Well two hundred is the point where marginal benefits equals marginal cost. 200 is also the point where marginal net benefits hits zero. Uh, so the marginal net benefits curve in a very real way is just like if we looked at this triangle here and melted it down and just put it on the axis just measuring Q and P. So I don't know if that's helpful to you or not. Hopefully it is. If not, whatever. Good luck guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.